Auschwitz is the darkest point in the history of mankind. And for sure the darkest point in the history of my nation. For us, for the Germans, it is post-war Germans an obligation, a duty to stick what was the basis when the post-war democracy in Germany was created. Two things. One, that we have a specific responsibility that the post-war Germans who were born after the Second World War should not be blamed for the crimes of the generation before, but should be educated in the responsibility Germany has, especially that never more in history it could be repeated, this industrial murdership of the SS in the name of our nation. And the second one is to guarantee, therefore, as German nation and as state, the security of Israel. These are the two vital elements. of post-war Germany, of post-German politics. <coughs> and therefore I'm grateful that I have, as a German, the chance to address you. It fills me with pride that today in Germany, Jews can live and practice their religion, that they are protected by our country. But it fills me with worry that police forces have to protect once more synagogues, not only in Germany, all over in Europe. This is a shame. And I quote my friend Franz Timmermans, who is here, the Vice President of the Commission, who just some days ago said in a common meeting, this is not acceptable. In Europe, in Germany, in the Czech Republic, wherever, every Jew must live in security. This is the message 70 years after. As we should not believe that this thinking of hate, this anti-Semitism, this xenophobic rhetoric, which is starting always with words and then transformed in action, is inexistent. It exists every day. It is an element of human existence. Therefore, we are obliged to fight every day, every day. And there is one key to win the fight, this education. We heard now that we are passing the keys to the next generation. I am already born after the Second World War. One of the biggest risks is that Auschwitz for my children and their children is as far away as for us, perhaps, another historic event in the 17th century. This is a risk. But there is a wonderful task, a wonderful obligation for all of us. We had most of us the chance to meet survivors who told us the story and listen to the story, to their experiences they made in Auschwitz and in other extermination camps, transformed us in witnesses. We all became a witness of what happened by listening. So, if we combine what we heard with what we felt when we heard it, when we combine that emotion with our capacity to tell the story, like Ben Kingsley said, as a storyteller, when we as witness we became, by listening, transforming in the capacity to tell and to pass the message over, 
We can also transform the next generation in a witness. Oral history is a key element of education to avoid that the victims are forgotten and that the crimes will be forgotten. Therefore, such a commemoration is from the highest importance. And I'm very grateful that we organize it every year. At the entrance of the archives of the United States is written in golden letters, past is prolog. The question for us here is, for what is our past prolog? The terrible past of Europe, the terrible past of Germany, the terrible atrocities with the six million killed Jews, with the 55 killed people in the Second World War. This past can be, if we draw the right consequences, a prologue to a better world. If we draw the wrong conclusions, it could be repeated. Our duty is to be courageous and not to allow and not to admit that those women who tell us this is enough now, 70 years, we should now turn the page and look in another direction, in another future. Yes, we have to look in another future. Another future than this terrible past. That's what we have to do. But if you want to change the future for the better, you have not the right to forget the atrocities of the past. Therefore, past is prologue in Europe for a better life and for Jews to live in dignity on our continent. Thank you very much.